Hi, this is Haley Thomas with PetroSkills, and I'm here with instructor Pete Luann, and we're going to discuss project management for brownfield projects. Pete, can you tell me how many days this course lasts and where it's held? Yes, it's a, it's a five-day course, and typically it's held either in Houston, Orlando, Florida, or London. Okay, great. And what are some of the topics covered in this course? Well, uh, at a high level, uh, we talk about brownfield capital projects and what it takes to be success, what it takes for a project engineer to be successful in managing these brownfield projects, which are typically very complex, much more complex than we refer to as a greenfield project or a project that doesn't involve an existing facility. Uh, some of the things that we talk about we talk about due diligence and the need to understand what's going on in the existing facility. We talk about governance. Uh, we talk about the role of operations and how they relate to the project engineer, project manager, and how they in reality impact the project. Uh, we talk about how these type of projects are much more difficult, how to manage that. Uh, we talk about how to manage risk we talk about uh, how to manage schedule and how, sc how schedules for brownfield projects are not really uh, duration driven like a typical greenfield project. They're really event driven, which is a, a really, really uh, different concept. Uh, we also talk about contracting strategy and how to select a contractor for a brownfield capital project. Uh, we also talk about what are the right contracting strategies to use. And uh, those are some of the things that we talk about. Of the topics that are discussed, are any of them ever a surprise to any of the participants? Well, I think uh, that's an excellent question. And I think one of the things that comes up when we do these sessions is that they're really, for Brownfield Capital Project, there's typically no real stage gate process. And so one of the things that we do is that we share with the participants the key activities that they need to do at each particular stage to be successful, uh, which typically you're not gonna get in a regular project management course. I would say probably one of the things that stands out that people really take notice is that Typically for a greenfield capital project, you'll go in there and you'll finish the project and then you do handover and commissioning. Where this is different is that there really are two handovers after shutdown. There's one handover from operations to the project people and that ensures that the plant is ready to be hand over, handed over and that it's safe to do the work, and then there's a typical classical second handover when the construction is already done and it's hand over, handed over to operations for startup commissioning and all that. So it's a, it's a very interesting course. It's, a, it's an area where there, there are a lot of issues, um, and that's really it. Any questions or anything? That's great. Thank you Thank so you. much. Um, one last thing. As a project management professional, why would I take this course and how will it help me further my career? Yeah, that's an excellent question, Haley. And I think what we discuss here are the, and we give people the key information that they need to be successful. So if someone's a project engineer and they aspire to be a project manager, we talk about all the important areas, all the knowledge areas that they're going to need to be successful. And we really couch it, it the, the course does really not focus on theory, it, it, it focuses on case studies and real life examples and it really gives you the skill sets to help you be successful. Great. Thank you, Pete. Thank you.